Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your November 2017 monthly reading. This is a general reading. It is for hundreds and thousands of people. It may or may not resonate. I have pre-shuffled the decks that you saw at the beginning, so I'm only going to shuffle these for a moment. This is for Pisces for the month of November. Hair, I'm sorry. I'm going to zoom this in. The basis of your reading is the death card, okay? So there's an ending in sight, okay? This is a rebirth, okay? There's something that ends that where you can restart something new. Or actually, not restart. It's a birth. It's a, something new. When the death comes out, you, you are ending a situation, a big one. You're ending something so that something new can begin, all right? And we do have quite a few completions here. We have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands and the Death. And we have the Ten of Swords here and the Ten of Wands right here. They're right on, they're right on the end. This right here um, is the High Priestess and this is the Six of Cups. It's like you saw this coming, okay? It, it's like you knew this was going to end. Um, and you're ready for this fresh new start. You're ready for this major change to just take flight okay it's not like you didn't know that it was coming because i think that you did i think you've taken a lot of time to go within and probably do some soul searching um and i think there's been delays with this new start but this month it might finally actually happen where you're really moving forward it is a time of transformation the month of november um, absolutely, with the death being the basis of your reading. And I think that you're probably very excited about this new change. You could have uh, somebody coming back into your life. And um, it might be a shock because we do have somebody from the past. And we have the lover's card connected to that somebody from the past. And maybe, you know, you've been hurt by this person before. Maybe even a long, long time ago. Um, or, you know, I have to tell you, with the Six of Cups, it can be a past life, okay, that you were connected to this person. But I do see that there's some previous wounds, okay? Um, so you might not actually know who this person is in this lifetime, all right? So whoever this person is, well, so to you, it could be a new person, but eventually you will have, or you may even right away, have this familiarity, you know, where you're very familiar with this person right from the get-go, Okay, where, <clears throat> you know, you just have this inner knowing. You know that you, that your souls are connected, okay? You do have a deep, deep inner knowing. So, Zoe, sorry about that. You do have a, a deep inner knowing that uh, knows exactly what is going on at all times. It's like there's no secrets with you. Um, you have a divine connection, Okay. Um, we do have quite a few players here. So far, I see Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. <laughs> I do have Scorpio here as well as, Lib as Cancer and Pisces, so we have all the signs. So it could be really anybody, okay? Um, Something is ending so that something more beautiful can begin, put it that way. And it's time, okay? It's time for the truth to come out about something. It's time for um, you to do the right thing for you. It's time for your justice, okay? Um, 
you may have a choice for many of you. You may have a choice between two people. We have quite a few uh, queens, okay? Queens here. So this is for a man or a woman. A man or woman, I apologize. So it looks to me like for many of you, there may be a choice between two people because of these queens on both ends. Um, and you might have to leave one of them go. And that might be, and it might be that you are just tied to somebody mentally, okay? And you haven't been able to let them go completely. But we do have the tower here. Something is going to break down. There is absolutely going to be a breakdown this month of something that was false from the very beginning. But you knew that it was false. And perhaps you've been ignoring it for some reason this false foundation you were ignoring it and it probably it was you've been carrying around with you and it's been a heavy load and it looks like that it's time to release the load okay because we have a heaviness that you've been carrying for a while here it's pretty um prominent with this this and this okay and I think that it is absolutely time for you to let it go so that this new birth, which is the death card, it's a new birth, can begin. And you've been waiting for this new birth and perhaps you've even been thinking about this person from the past. Um, and this person, you know, maybe they left you in the past or you left them and it what wasn't, there was no closure, okay? So I think that this month may be... Um, there could be a new, like a reconciliation of some sort, all right? After an ending, maybe an abrupt ending, you know? After an ending that um, really wasn't, there wasn't closure, okay? I do see that we have the Seven of Cups here, that you be careful what you choose, because what you own, owns you. Whenever that card comes out, it's about choices. So I see, and like I said, I think many of you have a choice between two people. You, um, you might have to let somebody go so that a new love can blossom, all right? And that means you might have to let somebody go uh, physically, mentally, however you are still attached to them. Um, and it takes going within um, and acknowledging <clears throat> the previous wounds to be able to let that burden go. So I think that there's acknowledging the wounds, okay? Um, I'm going to start shuffling the new deck. Um, either way, there's a blessing here. There's a blessing in disguise. It looks like something is going to be released, all right? Something's going to be released so that something new can begin. There we go. There's one. Um... There's excitement here, and there is. I think this this new birth of yours that's about to happen. There's a lot. You're very, very excited about it. I gotta get the rest of the cards. There's definitely a deep attraction or chemistry between you and another person. Okay, and you've been thinking about it a lot. Okay, you might be feeling it already. If not, this person could come in unexpectedly. All right, because the lovers is an unexpected choice in love where it comes in unexpectedly. And like I said, it could be somebody from your past. And if you don't know who this is, it could be somebody from a past life, but you will recognize them. Okay, and the the Ace of Wands is, is new growth. It is a rebirth. It's fertility. There, This is a chance of um, being like a, a complete, fresh, new journey. Okay, and it's very exciting, and this can be a new partner. So, for many of you, there will be a new partner um, or a new uh, renewed excitement within a partnership. Okay, um, there's a lot of excitement, but you, I see that you are taking action um, and very secure and stable. Um, Move, I think that you're feeling very at ease. Uh, 
you're leaving the trouble behind, okay? I think the future, I mean, right now, the month of November, it looks very, like it's very good. You're releasing, maybe even, maybe it's even negative thoughts, okay? You're totally letting something go, and it's bringing peace back to your life, Pisces, in November. Peace and excitement for the future of this, you know, this new, this new, uh, endeavor this new exciting journey that you're about to take when the death card comes out it's a major ending which you know when you have an ending what happens something else begins you start focusing on something new all right so i think there's really like a transformation here um I think many of you are really focusing on your career quite a bit. I think there's a lot of wealth and abundance and stability here this month of November. Perhaps um, that's where the growth is because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. So a lot of you, your growth will be in your career. Um, and it's something that you have been waiting for. Perhaps uh, you were worried. That's what the heaviness was. You were worried that something wasn't going to pan out or it wasn't going to grow. And now you're looking at something from a new perspective. All right. Um, I think the delays regarding money are probably over. All right. And I think it's because you took action. Okay. If you've been del if there's been delays with uh, getting the money that you were expecting, I think that's over. Because I see, I just see a lot of growth here and things really happening for you. Um, the temperance card, that's the sign of Sagittarius, but it's also about balance and moderation and restraint. Okay, it's also a card of renewal. So you have renewal here quite a bit. So in growth and fertility. So I think that this month, I think that finally there are new starts for you. And they're big, huge new starts that lead to stability and security. All right. Um, and I think a period of perhaps being stuck in a situation where you're carrying something very heavy, something that... Um, wasn't panning out the way that you had hoped is starting to finally um, grow, okay? I think that there is a lot of growth this month after a period of feeling like this is never going to happen, okay? But you had to put in a lot of work, and I think that your hard work is paying off. <laughs> Many of you could be moving, okay? There could be a new home or something in your home could be changing. Um, there's definitely some serious completions here, okay? There's a completion uh, regarding your uh, instability or your finances. Perhaps you are feeling unstable. I think that's over. There's a completion regarding... Um, this weight that you've been carrying around on your shoulders and not being able to let go of, I think that you're going to let go of it. There's the, a completion regarding despair or depression or, um, you know, negative thoughts. I think that's over too. I think, you know, we have these, these tens, these three tens. Any negative thoughts that you've been having, you know, worries, I think it's over. I think that this is a month of... Um, rebirth for you you know I think it's like a transformation it is a transformation where you go from being worried and perhaps um, unhappy to feeling very content and happy about the future excited There's a lot of excitement here
This is exactly it. You were feeling insecure, and many of you were feeling insecure financially. But the change is around the corner. So if you've been feeling uh, insecure financially, I think your ships are definitely coming in this month, and your insecurity should like dwindle. And you may have been feeling insecure regarding relationship as well. I mean, this is for hundreds and thousands of people, and this is love. So you may be maybe you were feeling insecure about offering love maybe you didn't feel like you could in this month you're feeling like you're ready okay um because here we have this independent person this is somebody who is very grateful for all that they have um they're living very happily with all of their goods you know all, everything just happy period and i think that for many of you you will probably um a new love interest because we have the lovers here and this is this is love coming in there's a new and for these this is for single people if you're single the a new love could enter could enter your life at this time and it could come very much independent i mean unexpectedly okay out of the blue okay because that's what the lovers is it's unexpected choice in love where and even if you're single but not happy this could definitely happen for you. I mean if you're coupled and not happy this could happen for you as well where all of a sudden somebody comes in and the attraction is so deep so strong there's just like a magnetic attraction that you can't ignore okay and maybe that's why the towers here maybe something needs to break down and it's a blessing in disguise so whether this is regarding a relationship or a job, I see that there was a breakdown or there is going to be a breakdown. There was or is going to be a breakdown that is a blessing in disguise that brings you something so much better. Okay? And you are going to be very, very, very excited about it. We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here pretty strongly. And we have uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo as well pretty strongly. And I do absolutely see that many of you are going to need time to, or you already have done this, took the time to do so, like some soul searching because I see a need to... Um, meditate okay or heal from a situation or just be alone you know or do some soul searching it all depends on who you are okay i think that the excitement is going to be um great there's a lot of excitement here and that it may be even a little too much and you may feel like you know i just need to disconnect for a little while it's not like you're going to tell anybody this but you're going to feel it you might feel like disconnecting and really going within because this transformation, this change is big. And you may feel like, wow. I mean, if somebody comes in unexpectedly or if something crumbles down, like I'm pretty sure it's going to this month, you may feel the need to just retreat, okay? Because at first it's going to feel insecure, but it's really a blessing in disguise and it brings a bunch of new growth, okay? There's a lot of new growth, a lot of change here. All right, and I also see healing. So for many of you, you're going through a healing period. But the basis of your reading this month is major life change, transformation. The death card is the basis of your reading. When that comes out, it says that major life change is right ahead of you, okay? You guys could definitely... Um, we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, pretty, like I already told you, but I guess I keep saying it because I think that you're going to be looking at something from a different perspective like they do because there's a, of this Queen of Swords is right around the corner, okay? So this just tells me that this person could be the one that you're letting go of because it's the Ten of Wands and you're letting, and this person has been taking a really a toll on your soul <laughs> because your soul, uh, yeah has been taking a toll on your soul mm -hmm. or this could be you know um this is the false foundation this could be this and if it's not a person if it's not about a relationship you may something may this is the truth as well this person offers the truth the harsh truth so something could come out that causes you to let something go okay um 
and look at something from a new perspective altogether. Giving and receiving. And I'm going to read that one for you. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation, giving and receiving. This is part of the, part of the message, definitely, that you need to be able to do both, give and receive. Maybe that's part of your transformation. I think it probably is. So this is your month of November. I see transformation this month. Letting something go, leaving something behind. Something has to crumble down so that something better can come in. And this month you may have an unexpected choice in love Come trotting on in. And you know, if your love is for your job, it could be that. It's about time for you to do the right thing for you. When the Justice card comes out and the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, and we have the Queen of Swords a couple of times, I believe. I don't know. But anyway, I feel it. I feel it. So there's a, there's a lot of being true to yourself. Walking away from all that no longer serves you. That is here this month, and it, and it really um, brings about a transformation for you. Talk to you later, Pisces.